this video, I talk about the dilution of blood sample for counting of blood cells. Blood cells present in the blood circulation, including red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. In order to count the blood cells using the manual methods, first we dilute the blood sample and then count using the hemocytometer slide. The dilution of blood sample uh, for counting is different according to the type of cells to be counted. Also, the value of dilution differs according to the number of cells present in the blood circulation. For example, red blood cells present in the blood circulation in millions, in, in millions per cubic millimeter or per microliter. So the dilution is high. The blood cells diluted uh, 200 times in order to be counted using the hemocytometer slide. However, the platelets and, and the white blood cells are present in, in thousand, are counted in thousand per cubic millimeter. So the dilution uh, for the white blood cells count and for uh, platelets count 20 times. So in order to count the blood cells, we use a solution for dilution. The time of the solution is different also according to the type of cells to be counted. For example, for the red blood cells, usually we use normal saline for, for uh, dilution. For white blood cells, we use a solution called Terkis solution, Terkis solution, which is consists from gentian violet and glacial acetic acid. The gentian violet is used to stain the white blood cells, so it can be easily counted during manual count uh, under the microscope. However, the glacial acetic acid is used in the uh, component of the Turkish solution to distract the red blood cells. So, the uh, so only uh, present and uh, stained will be the white blood cells and so it will be easily counted. However, for the platelet count, we used a solution that uh, distract the red blood cells and then we can count the platelet or we use a solution like uh, ammonium oxalate one person uh, that solution uh, the red blood cells present and the platelets uh, counted in between the red blood cells. Uh, so we have two options for the dilution. We can use a solution prepared in the lab or we can use a solution, a commercially prepared solution. So in order to count the blood cells, we prepare uh, a diluted blood which is diluted 200 times. First, in this tube, uh, we'll add 3980 microliter from the diluting fluid, which may be normal slime or commercially prepared uh, diluting fluid. So we use a mass of 1 ml, uh, we use 3.98 ml. We added 3 men, so now we add 3.98 men, 980 microliter. This solution for counting of the red blood cells. Red blood cells. Now we will add 20 microliters from whole blood, whole blood. The blood here is uh, whole blood collected on editor for pathological analysis. First three, we mix the blood sample gently several times. And then we take 20 microliter. So 20 microliter will be added to 3980 microliter. 20 microliter. 
it is very essential and very important to wipe the external surface of the micro pipette. So wipe the pipette carefully from the outside. And then add the whole blood to the diluting fluid. Rinse gently the inner side of the micro pipette. Now, mix. Diluted red blossoms or whole blob diluted 200 times and it is ready for counting of the red blossoms under the microscope using the home yield cytometer slide. For the illusion of blood for counting of the white blood cells, we used a solution called Turkish solution. Turkish solution, or you can use a commercially prepared solution. In this case, we dilute the uh, blood sample uh, 20 times, 20 time using the Turkish solution. So first we add 950 microliter from the diluting fluid, 150 from the diluting fluid, which is called Telkis solution, which contains glacial acetic acid and gentian violet. After that, we add uh, 50 microliter, 50 microliter from the whole blood, 50 microliter from the whole blood. As we said before, it is very essential to mix the blood sample gently. And then withdraw 50 microliter. from the whole blood. As we said also, it is very essential to wipe the extended surface of the micro bed from the blood. And then add the whole blood to the diluting fluid. Mix it also gently, mix. Now the diluted uh, blood sample uh, is ready for counting of the white blood cells under uh, the microscope. For counting of the blood platelets, we use also a solution which is commercially prepared solution. Uh, this solution destructs the red blood cells and only platelet present under the uh, field of the microscope. So the dilution also dilute the blood sample 20 times for platelet count. So first we uh, withdraw the diluting the fluid. Also 950 microliter, 950 microliter from the diluting fluid. First we withdraw the diluting fluid. 950 microliter from the diluting fluid. Add the diluting fluid to the uh, tube. And then add Fifty microliter from the whole blood to the diluting fluid. Fifty microliter, mix it gently, and then withdraw the blood sample. 
very essential to wipe the external surface of the pipette. And then add the whole blood to the diluting fluid for platelet count. For platelet count. Mix also this diluted blood sample is used for counting of blood platelet. Uh, so it is diluted uh, 20 times. This diluted blood sample is used for counting of uh, uh, the white blood cells and it is diluted 20 times also. And this is a diluted blood sample that is diluted 200 times and used for counting of the red blood cells. The blood cells here counted using the hemocytometer slide. Uh, hemocytometer slide.